So we've already talked about lineages and how there's three main types. There's depicted in art, depicted in both painting and sculpture, but we'll stick with painting. We have we have teaching lineages, we have administrative lineages, and we have incarnation lineages. These are really the three main types. Teaching lineage is just teacher to student in a sequence coming down from Shakyamuni or Vajradhara. Uh, the administrative lineage is a, is a lineage of, of uh, hierarchs for a, a particular tradition or a more more usually for a monastery. So it's, it's the, the lineage of abbots. Um, then the incarnation lineage is, is, as it sounds, it's the rebirths of a famous teacher. Um, so these are the three main types of, of lineages in terms of abstract concept, in terms of what they're about. Now, in terms of painting, how they're depicted, we have uh, four types. We have, uh, of, uh, of in a single composition, there's four ways of placing the lineage. Now, it's linear, alternating, dual, and asymmetrical. Now, for asymmetrical, th this is not that common. We do not see it after the, really, the 14th century. Um, and we see it with early um, Indian style and um, maybe some Nepali style paintings. Now, usually, usually uh, uh, for early paintings, it's more common that they're linear in terms of lineage depiction, which means that at the top left, the viewer's left of a composition, when you're looking at a painting, at the top left will be Vajradhara or Shakyamuni or Vajrapani or Manjushri, and they will serve as the, 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 the progenitor of a teaching system. And then, in a sequential fashion, moving left to right will be the, the, the descending teachers, the Mahasiddhas, some, some Indian scholars, Nagarjuna, Yudeva, Sangha, and then the Tibetan Lhotsawas and then the Tibetan teachers coming down to, to the time when the composition was, uh, was made, when the painting was done. Um, now, after the, really after the, uh, after the, the 15th century, then what we have is primarily is alternating. That's where the, the top of the composition, you have a single figure of Ajadar or Shakyamuni, and then alternating to the right and left, and then descending down the two side registers, or in the open space of the composition, you have the lineage descending towards the bottom with the most recent teachers. Um, dual is a little bit rare. We only have a very few of these um, in uh, examples of these where, where you have a central figure at the top, but then you have one lineage reading uh, right to left going down the side of the composition, and on the right side you have another lineage, a separate lineage going down. Uh, dual lineage is, is quite rare. Now, asymmetrical is, is not really so much rare as that it ended, um, and it was really only done with these Indian-style uh, paintings. And what you have, generally, is you do read the painting from left to right, and it will have Shakyamuni Buddha and some Mahasiddhas, or it'll have Vajradhara. But then at the center, at the top center, or the top center and the immediate space to the right and left, you'll have teachers that don't fit into the sequence. Because asymmetrical paintings will place important teachers at the top, but then the immediate predecessor of the central figure of a painting, the immediate teacher will be placed directly above, and possibly two other, other of his students. So, so you have this sort of odd way of reading uh, a composition, and, and you can often notice that there's something a little amiss, because you can be reading from left to right, but then you'll have a, a number of Mahasiddhas in Mahasiddha appearance, in Siddha appearance, and then all of a sudden you'll have a Tibetan monk right in between, which doesn't make sense sequentially. So, there are only certain styles and types of paintings that have this asymmetrical lineage at the top, 
and generally they're not long lineages, they're quite short, and uh, very often they're of the Kagyu tradition. So we're looking at Vajradhara, Tilopa, Naropa, Marpa, Milarepa, <clears throat> Gampopa, and then usually Pakmodrupa. We usually find this with the Pakdru lineages uh, uh, going into the uh, Taklung and uh, Drikung and Drukpa Kagyu. So these are the main ones. So this is just a f little bit of clarity on the asymmetrical lineages out of the <clears throat> four different types that you find in single composition paintings, which are linear, alternating, dual, and asymmetrical.